Hello, Brad Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play WWE 2K23 My GM Mode. Uh, in the last episodes, we completed the uh, a season in progress, my own personal season of Monday Night Raw, uh, where we finished up season five. Uh, the goal of which was to show, I wanted to show what a typical week uh, in the game looks like, uh, a season being 25 weeks. Uh, you know what the booking process looks like, what uh, how the roster works, uh, how everything um, sort of plays out on a week to week basis, uh, as well as showing by showing WrestleMania, kind of showing how those premium live events work. Um, you know what you kind of have to be thinking of within each five week span, as well as over the course of the twenty five weeks, with regards to uh you know making sure you have all the right power cards that you can get a full five star show or at least close to a five star show um making sure all your staminas are uh at a reasonable level uh unlike kind of what i did um you know managing any uh incoming power card attacks and having rivalries uh to be able to be flexible when some superstars are not able to uh compete or perform on the shows um uh, managing your budget as well. We saw that with the uh, with the NXT shows that uh, they did not have the budget to really put on excellent shows, and uh, they are in a uh, increasingly distant third and fourth place. So, but we're not going to continue that season. Uh, that was again just meant to show um, kind of typically how things will go. Um, but when you're starting a new season, there's a lot less to think about. And that's actually what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be starting a whole new season um, with a new brand because, again, the goal of this project is to complete at least one season with all five of the available brands. And so we'll take a look at that. Uh, four of them are here. There's only one other. Um, and so we'll take a look at that here. And, uh, yeah, uh, I wasn't originally... I just released the first video uh, today, um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, again, I have, I love this game. Um, I really enjoyed playing it and, uh, I wasn't going to play it again tonight. I had actually, uh, hooked up my GameCube and I was, I picked like a game from my queue actually that I haven't, uh, played before the Zatchbell game, which looks to be just another like kind of anime fighter game, which whatever, um, they're, they may be mid, but mid's still pretty good. Um, so yeah, I ended up not playing that uh, because the allure <laughs> of the of the booking simulator just called to me. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new season and just, we'll just kind of take it from draft and we'll see kind of how far we get uh, tonight. I don't want to play until midnight again. So uh, we'll just see how we do. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so again, not going to play my current save file. We're just going to start a new one. And let's skip the uh, tutorial because I'm on creator safe mode, uh, which is a nice feature of the game where it just turns off all of the volume. So there would have been nothing to listen to in that tutorial. I think there's subtitles, but uh, I can't risk that. I'm probably actually just going to that one second of the tutorial that I showed there, I'm probably going to edit it out because I just, I'm sick of having to re-render these videos. They take too long. Uh, I know my computer is aging, but uh, I, I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with copyright. It's, we shouldn't have to, honestly, but here we are. Okay, so uh, a MyGM season can have Anywhere from two to four players. Uh, the players can be human. At least one has to be human. So you can't have all computer. Um, but at least one human. And then there are computer players. Um, and uh, it's not... Uh, um, it's local co-op. Um, so you can use like remote play to connect with one other PS4. So you could do, you know, share play there. Um but uh, I think remote play and share play are different things. Either way. Um, so if you want to play with four players, you have to have them all in the same spot or at least have them in two separate spots connected with two separate PS4s um, or uh, use 
that's uh, different. This that's just on the PS4. On other uh, consoles, it might be different, or on it's on Steam too. So you might be able to do something on there. You can do something on there. Um, uh, I think you can use like Parsec or something to uh, to connect multiple people together. So um, I, I think that because I, that is what you can do. Uh, this is not a tutorial for Parsec. This is just a playthrough of my GM. So let's go ahead and add a player here. So the first thing you'll do is you need to pick who your GM is. Um, the only difference between who the GMs are is that you get a special power card uh, at the beginning of every season that you can use. Uh, so for example, in my raw session, uh, I was playing as Stephanie. Um, and Stephanie's power card is that uh, when you use it, then that week you earn twice as much money from arena attendance, um, which you saw in raw uh, that uh, the big open stadium, you get $10 per attendee. Uh, and I was getting, you know, 69, nearly 70,000 people into the show. So that would have been uh, $1.4 million using that card. So Stephanie does make budgeting really easy, uh, especially in later seasons when you have access to the big open stadium. Uh, and it allows you to be able to spend a little bit more on your drafting um, budget. So, but we'll kind of step through each of these here. Uh, so Adam Pierce is, uh, his power card is an instigator. Uh, it increases all the levels of all your active rivalries by one. Uh, this is a good kind of like fail safe card um, because uh, if you're approaching WrestleMania and you've got a lot of twos that you want to get up to threes so that they can complete at the end of the season, uh, that's a good one. Um, so that's probably a good kind of late season one. Uh, Adam Pierce also, um, I noticed this earlier, kind of has like a baby face a little bit. I, so I just don't know if I want to look at that for the entire season. Uh, Sonya Deville is um, is an active uh, wrestler now, um, but she was in a leadership role for a good while. Um, and hers is that power cards in the store are free this week. Um, so it benefit wise, it's much worse than uh, the potential of Stephanie's. Um, you can get if you got like the. Um, you know, uh, the one that raises morale, that's a pretty expensive card. Um, or if you've just got a handful of expensive cards, um, it's just, uh, a little good boost, but kind of limited. Um, Stephanie, we talked about Xavier Woods, um, who is also an active performer, but he, uh, you know, he and Tyler Breeze here, they have their long running series. They sort of like brought back, uh, the GM mode into, uh, 2k22 and then forward um woods uh has the power card of cheat code which allows you to steal a superstar from another roster um they can't be a title holder and you can't use it in week one so um there's a bit of like timing and strict uh strategy to it um you probably want to use it early in the season um but it can be good just to like get a free because the person who joins your roster becomes a permanent uh on a permanent contract so it is uh monetarily it's a great card um with regards to your budget it can also interrupt uh another because you can just break a rivalry off um if another brand is really doing well so um it's not my play style but it's definitely a good card um tyler breeze has quick recovery which all your superstars immediately gain 20 stamina um that's just a good kind of fail safe. I don't think stamina is really the hardest stat to uh, manage, but um, it's still an option. Uh, we got Kurt Angle. Um, Kurt Angle is a WWE legend. Um, and his is uh, all charity promos are free to book and have their results doubled this week. Um, so typically like a charity promo costs 15 K um, and I think the best one uh, on my WrestleMania show was Lacey Evans, who with her five promo skill got us 5,000 fans. Um, so typically you're looking at, you know, 15K promo for 5,000 fans. This would be a free promo for 10,000 fans. But it's again, it's a gamble. You don't always get the maximum. Um, there is another like a um, 
a power up you can get that increases the value of charity promos. So that one's kind of a, I think Kurt is a little risky. Um, Eric Bischoff, he is the he was the head of WCW back in the day. Um, his card is backstage booking, which is booking costs for all show logistics are free this week. This is actually um, a really good card. This is not the card I thought he had. Um, but uh, the one of the best cards, actually, uh, in later seasons, not in season one, but one of the best cards is free arena booking um, because arenas, the big open stadium is expensive. It's the most expensive logistic. Uh, and so not having to pay for it is a huge profit. And so not having to pay for anything is huge. Just having that in your back pocket is actually a really nice um for later seasons i don't think it's a great season one card uh mick foley or cactus jack um or dude love or mankind played many characters uh, often at the same time um cactus jacked is his power card and you select an opposing brand and two superstars in their show will be injured next week um randomly selected um, this is also not my play style. I like to avoid injuries. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll switch it up in, uh, uh, one of these seasons. Uh, and then you can select a custom superstar. So any, you know, uh, created superstar or downloaded, um, and they have a power card of legend whisperer, which is the first legend you sign this week will be free. This is again, not typically my play style. I don't typically sign legends. Um, but and legends are often not on permanent contracts. So uh, there is a, I think there is a limited um, value to this card. Um, so obviously, in my opinion, Stephanie is the best, but I've already played as Stephanie, so I would like to play as somebody else. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to challenge myself. I think I am going to go with Sonya. Um, and there's there's part of a reason for it because like Sonya Deville booked SmackDown on my other season. And I kind of wanted to go with SmackDown for my show. So I'm going to pick Sonya. Um, but there are also the brands that you select. So uh, there's five different brands and there's no custom this time. I really wish there was a way to customize the shows because I would love to be able to customize the championships too so that I could add like a women's singles title um, to balance things between the, the men's and women's rosters. But five different shows you can select. So there's SmackDown, which is uh, has an... Each of the shows also have a power card uh, that you get one per season. Uh, SmackDowns is uh, six random superstars on your roster will have their popularity increased by plus six. Um, this is not super great uh, because popularity is like it is one of the more difficult cards to manage, but plus six is also not like a lot. <laughs> so um, but it's not nothing. Um, Raw, this is the show that I ran before, and this is actually a card that I never ended up using because I never felt like attacking my opponents. Um, but uh, their card, this is War. Uh, select an opposing brand and you have three superstars on their show are randomly vetoed. Um, so normally a veto random superstar just picks one. This is war selects three. So uh, really powerful card, actually. Um, fighting champion uh, on NXT. Um, and this is title matches booked for this week will receive a large match rating boost. Um I don't know how large, like large is, um, but uh, could be good. Um, there's also NXT 2.0. Um, I wish there was different options between just uh, two versions of the developmental brand, but NXT 2.0 is reduce the price of the next three free agents you purchase this week by 50%. Um, so if you're building a large roster um, and you, there's a lot of like permanent contracts that are available. Uh, this is good for budget management. Um, and then WCW, uh, the classic, um, has classically trained, uh, which extends the duration of all your current legends contracts by five weeks. 
So this, I think this one pairs well with the, um, the custom superstar where you can get a legend for free and then extend all the contracts. Um, so I have an idea for when I do WCW, but I'm going to do Sonya and SmackDown. Um, and just kind of see how that goes. Uh, and I think I'm going to do just a 1v1 this time. Um, and kind of see how that goes. Like I did, you know, a four person season uh, before, but I just want to do a 1v1. And so this is going to be a CPU. And I think who I'm going to go against is, well, I said I wanted to challenge myself. So maybe I do go against Mick Foley and just have to deal with like injuries. Yeah, why not? Um, and then I can make it even harder on myself and have it be Mick Foley on Raw. Um, title matches, free agents, WCW. Yeah, let's do Mick Foley on Raw. Yeah, why not? Uh, so this is going to be my players for the season. Okay. Um, I usually play on normal. Um, I'm not going to... Yeah, the more intelligent choices, the higher difficulty of the setting. Um, I want to play as normal because I want to have fun. Um, and maybe I could have fun on hard mode, but, uh, yeah. So I think I also played on normal on my larger season. So the difference between the game difficulties, I would actually like to try an easy, uh, playthrough. Maybe one of the ones I do is easy. Um, but on easy playthrough, uh, weekly shows only have three matches. Uh, and then the PLEs the premium live events have four matches. Um, there is, uh, yeah, in later seasons, there's no budget reduction. Um, the uh, thresholds at the end of the season for having people stay on your show uh, are lower, um, less injury chances, and you get some, I guess, starting assistance. Uh, normal is just sort of the, the basic where uh, weekly shows have four matches, uh, premium live events have five. Um, your budget gets reduced very slowly in later seasons um and then uh there's a medium morale threshold for superstars quitting uh, i did have two superstars quit my show uh in the last five seasons on raw um but in general i try to keep them pretty happy uh and then hard um is the same number of matches per show um you have more is there an extra hard no there's just hard um more budget reduction higher thresholds, and then increased injury chances. Um, so maybe I do hard. Yeah, why not? Let's just do, yeah. Should I just do hard, hard? Uh, no, I'm going to do normal, normal. Again, because I want to have fun. Um, you can have a starting budget up to 3.5. Two five million. Um, so I just do that because again I want to have fun. Um, there's two types of uh, player order where you either go um, for a two player season. It would be player one, player two, player one, player two, player one, player two. So you just take turns. Um, but there's also snake order where it goes player one, player two, player two, player one, player one, player two, player two, player one. Um, so I think for uh, yeah. For a single human player, the order doesn't really matter. Um, Shake-ups, these are every five weeks. There's These are the power-ups I was talking about. Um, so this is just like, these are bonus stars in Mario Party. So I, you keep them on to have fun. Um, and then draft pool. I do have a custom draft pool that I put together. I have a Google Drive where I uh, calculate all this out. I'll try to share that in the description. Um, but uh essentially like i pared down um here i can sort it by alphabetical um yeah where i essentially kind of balanced it out um this is a, a downloaded xylee it's not the actual xylee um and this is my character from the uh the storyline but tried to balance it out so that there were um an equal number of fighters, bruisers, giants, cruisers, and specialists. Um, uh, this do, did require some like creative uh, balancing. Uh, so I've got some uh, superstars like Alexa Bliss, Bray Wyatt, 
um, who are uh, marked as legends, just to kind of even it out. Um, the only characters that I removed from the... Uh, um, in order to have like an equal balance, I did have to remove a couple, and there were some that I just removed because I didn't, I don't want to play with them. Um, and they're just ones who I don't. So there's like Eve Torres is like a DLC character. I never, I don't know who that is. Um, so I just that was an easy one. That was the only woman I think who I removed. Um, and then for the men, I took out uh, just some some characters who I don't particularly. I took out like MVP. Um, I don't like to watch him wrestle. Um, uh, I took out Cody Rhodes because I don't care. Um, and I took out uh, Top Dollar because I just don't care. Uh, I don't, I don't, that's just my choice. It's my playthrough. I can do what I want. Um, write in the comments below, I guess, if that bothers you, and I will acknowledge me. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm sure I want to leave, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and select my uh, balanced pool here. And I'm not going to auto-draft. I'm going to draft myself because the draft is fun. So these are the settings I'm going to use. I'm playing as Sonya Deville on SmackDown against Mick Foley on Raw. It's going to be a little bit harder. Just Let's just do it. Whatever. Um, it might be a challenge, but uh, I think I'm pretty good at the game. And we'll just sort of see what happens. All right. So this is the this is how I'm gonna play it. All right. Here we go. I think there's gonna be no music during the draft either, even though that's kind of generic music and shouldn't be copyrighted. But whatever. Now I have an approach to drafting. We'll see how well it goes. Um, how well it works for like a one v one season. Um, how well it works on playing on now hard mode difficulty. Um, so we'll just kind of see what happens and we'll kind of see, cause not all the superstars are going to be available in the draft. There's like 200 plus, I think superstars total available. All right. Smackdown versus the raw rosters are about to change. It's WWE draft time. Thank you, Michael Cole. Um, so yeah, we start out with a budget of 3.25 million. Um, we take turns drafting one after another. Um, I get to draft first. Um, and there will be at least nine rounds of drafting. Um, so you have to have at least nine superstars on your show. Um, so, yeah. And then there's also, yeah, recommendations. So let's just see who's available. The first pick for SmackDown. So the default sorting is by cost. Um, so let's see who we got here. Um and some of these might not make sense. Like I made Rhonda a giant just because I thought like powerhouse. And that was really the only person who felt like could fit into that role um, to balance it out. So, okay. Um, yeah, it sorts it by cost, but you can also, yeah, we can see here. Um, one of the reasons that Becky is at the top is because her five out of five promo skill, um, which I think is a little... Uh, overrated, honestly. But uh, she also has a 78 stamina, so that's not bad. Um, let's check out, let's just sort uh, the women first, because I'm likely going to draft a woman first. Um, so ideally, you want to start by drafting a few um, like headliners, the people who are going to be your main eventers on both the women's and men's side. Um, and then I usually draft from the bottom after that. So I usually go down to the bottom, the less expensive superstars who are going to have lower popularity. Sure. But you can, you can raise up popularity by just having them feud with some of the higher level superstars. Um, so, but the, the cost differential is like for a difference of, yeah, Becky has a popularity of 62 Ivy Nile has a popularity of 47. That's just a difference of 15. You can make that up by the first premium live event. Um, so I want to see who's around here. Becky's not actually a bad first choice. Um, is expensive. Uh, it's an expensive contract. Asuka is also... Asuka might be a better contract. I think she has a weaker... Um, yeah, she's only a 3 out of 5 promo. So... That is uh, slightly cheaper, but higher popularity um, and 
similar stamina. Um, let's see who else we got here. I want to think, I want to pick two. Um, then, then there's some who I'm really like, obviously like, I can want Xylee. Um, cause I'm a, I'm a big Xylee fan. Um, so can we sort by, how do we sort, sort, there we go. So now I can see maybe by class also. Cause like if I pick a fighter, um, then I would want like a, a bruiser to pair with them. Um, so like thinking like Alba fire pairing with, um, like Carmela. Or if I, if I want to do Xylee as like my initial feud, then I would want a heel bruiser to start with, which would be like Shayna would be the top prospect or, uh, Michin a little bit less. I, uh, Ooh, that's an interesting prospect is doing, uh, Shayna Zaya as my first feud. Um, additionally, when you draft superstars, you'll be able to, uh, assign the world titles, um, which immediately gives them a, I believe a plus 10 or a plus 15 boost, uh, to their popularity. So that also helps balance things out. Um, so I might do Shayna is my first, what's her promo skill for uh, Shayna has got four out of five. That's pretty good. Shayna might be a good, like initial pick Shayna and then Zaya. Um, so I'll have to write these down. So that's what I'm thinking is Shayna and Zaya. And on the men's side, um, let's get the co uh, switch it back to cost. So Drew is the top. And then Kevin Owens, Shinsuke, Seth, Johnny Gargano, absolutely not. And Jey Uso. Elias is up near the top too. Elias, I believe, is a five out of five promo. Elias would be a good first pick too. Um, who would Elias pair with? Elias is a bruiser. So let's see, a face fighter. Quite a few options here, actually. Um, Elias could go with. I've got <laughs> Elias versus Ezekiel. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Um, Elias versus Andre Chase. Uh, Andre is three out of five. Apollo is probably only a two out of five. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I am going to go with Shayna as my first draft. And then uh, presumably Zylee does not get drafted by Mick Foley. Uh, Mick is probably going to pick. Becky, honestly. So my first draft pick coming to SmackDown, Shayna Baszler. SmackDown drafts Shayna Baszler. Good pick for the G. No, he picks Drew. Queen of Spades. A big name to start with, and she knows it. Okay. Um, I imagine Zai is going to be safe um, given his pick of Drew, so I think I am going to come back here, and I am going to pick uh, Elias as my top pick for the men. So we're going to go with Elias, or Shinsuke. Uh, Elias is, I think, the better um, prospect. Smackdown selects Elias. A whole new show will walk with Elias. Guaranteed to bring the fight to a new night. Okay. Awesome. Um, then, yeah. So, Shayna, Zaya, who was I pairing Elias with? Um... Elias was going to go with a fighter. There, oh yeah, there were quite a few options here. Um, was I going to do Elias Ezekiel? Um, Elias Apollo, Elias Andre Chase. Um, Our Truth, I think, is also a five out of five. Our Truth might not be a bad uh, option to start with. Um, I don't want to do too many like high uh, value contracts. I want to start paring it down after the next couple of rounds. Um, but I think our truth, our truth Elias might be a good like uh, feud. So let's go with our truth. Smackdown picks our truth. You think our truth knows he was just drafted? I can't deny his passion. Good guy to have on your side. 
Thank you, Corey Graves. He is a good guy to have on my side. Mick did pick Becky. Not surprising. Uh, top recommendations. Zylee is actually in the top recommendations. So that might be... Um, uh, I might just pick her up now. Just, uh, um, just to do it. Smackdown selects because I don't know who. See, I didn't know who was going to try to pair with Becky, but he did go for Kevin Owens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see his roster here. Drew, Becky, Kevin, Angel. Angel's the only kind of unusual pick there. Okay, uh, now I can start thinking of some additional feuds. I can start thinking of maybe tag teams. I would like to get some balance uh, in the roster. Um, so let's look at maybe some uh, Giants and Cruisers. Um, so down here, there's not a lot of women Giants on the draft, which I tried to balance it out. So I'm a little surprised. So we should actually probably pick up uh, at least one of these. Um, who are heel cruisers? Like, cause the, um, the face giants are a little bit less expensive. So we might look at that. Um, so face giants, heel cruisers, we've got Zelina, we've got EO, Candice, and that's it. Um, who would I want? Zelina, I believe is like a four out of five. Yeah. Um, so we could do like Raquel. Raquel's only a two out of five. That's shocking. Dewdrop. Charlotte. Would not mind having Charlotte actually on the roster. Um, let's see. If I'm going to go Charlotte, I would have to pick now. And I would choose then, my choices would then be Cora Jade, Roxanne Perez, or Katana Chance, um, who are all fairly similar. Um, the one I would probably pick of them would probably be Cora. Um, although, let's see the difference. Roxanne is a three out of five. Katana, I believe, is a three out of five. And Cora Jade is a two out of five. So Cora is actually the lowest promo skill. Um, I'm not looking at morale also. Um, Cora is satisfied. Katana is satisfied. And Roxanne is satisfied. So they're all... I want to try to avoid selecting anybody who's like going to be upset from the get-go. Like Rhonda. Um, that's just going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So, um, that can get real expensive real fast. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking either like Dewdrop Zelina or Charlotte and I, I'm, there's just, Cora Jade is just sort of speaking to me. Um, and Charlotte would just be another kind of like high profile pickup. Um, if I picked Charlotte, that might be my last high profile pickup other than maybe on the women's side. Um, I might think about Shinsuke. Uh, also wants me to pick up Asuka in the recommendations. Asuka is expensive for a specialist. Um, three out of five. I might go with, uh, somebody like Gigi or Tiffany. Um... Natalia's got a 1 out of 5 promo skill, which is definitely far too low. Um, Blair is a 2 out of 5. So maybe I would go with, yeah, Tiffany or Gigi um, for a specialist. But uh, let's go with Charlotte. SmackDown picks Charlotte Blair. The Queen's throne Ooh, is Jimmy Uso SmackDown. going to Raw. The brand is taking shape, and this woman is picking her targets. We are going to go, yeah, who was I pairing with Charlotte? Uh, Cora Jade. Um, yeah, why not? SmackDown drafts Cora Jade. Cora Jade skating on into a new night. The GM baking on upside and work ethic here. Yeah, uh, I mean, that seems like a little sarcastic little comment, Byron Saxton. Um... So Raw just picked up uh, Rhonda. Um, 
Uh, so that's interesting. So I think Mick is looking at Rhonda Becky for their initial feud. That makes sense. Let's look at men. Um, let's see here. There's a lot more options for the men. Um, so I could pick up more fighters and bruisers just to have more options or just like a specialist as well. Um, or a couple of specialists. Like the Miz is another five out of five promo. So he might be a good option. Um, Dominic might be a good option. Jay might be a good option. Four out of five. Um, that 90 stamina is also really nice for Jay. Um, then again, the Miz. Five out of five promo skill. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, let's look at the cruisers and giants. We haven't looked at them for the men. Um, Cruz del Toro. That uh, I know he's only a oh he's a three out of five. I thought he was only a two out of five. Um, who could we pair Cruz with? Cruz was a face. Um, so face cruiser who would be a heel giant. We could pair Veer. One out of five promo skill. Masse, I believe, is only a one out of five promo skill. That's way wrong. Uh, Corbin is a two out of five. That's also way wrong. Um, is the best promo here <laughs> Aziz? That's all sorts of wrong. <laughs> um, Cruz del Toro, Veer Mahan might be an option. They're pretty, they're lower cost, so I don't imagine they're going to get prioritized in the thing. Um, let's do the Miz. Yeah, he is awesome. The Miz. the Miz about to make SmackDown must see. The GM sees him as a future champion. Potentially. Um, okay. Uh, so we need some other men. Let's uh, let's do Cruz and Veer. Um, why not? SmackDown selects Veer Mahan, and Veer is coming to a new show as the GM picks Mahan. A man with all the upside in the world, in my opinion. They keep bringing up upside, huh? Um, I think that there's a lot of upside because my show is going to be great. Um, look how inexpensive Joaquin Wild is. Um, I guess 40 popularity. That's probably about the lowest there is. Um, two out of five. Cruise is the better um, option. Slightly more expensive, but not that much. Smackdown picks Cruz Del Toro. And the GM picks up the high flying Ooh, Cruz. Champa would have been nice. I should have thought about that. Incomplete without this guy. Great late pick. I felt like Corey Graves had a little bit of a pause there. Um rude. I still recommend an Asuka. Do I have a women's specialist? I don't yet. Women. Right, because I was thinking of GG or like Asuka would be expensive. I want to try to stay, keep my budget. In season one, I don't need too much of a budget, but I would like to stay uh, close to like half a million. Um, so Asuka might not be that risky of a pickup. Um, and I could still do uh, GG or Tiffany or both, honestly. Let's, yeah, let's do Asuka. Why not? Trust the system. Smackdown chooses Oscar. Great pick. The Empress joins the blue brand. Now, Robert Roode didn't talent need him. You find room in the budget for. We did find room in the budget uh, for Asuka. Um, let's see what else we got. Options. Um, let's start starting by cost here. So yeah, Joaquin Wild, uh, Tyler Bate, Andre Chase wouldn't be a bad choice. Um, three out of five, right? Yeah. Um, like, yeah, maybe another fighter bruiser pair. Um, yeah. Andre Chase, who would I pick for like a heel bruiser? Brutus Creed? No. Solo? I'm not opposed to Solo Skoa. Um, Butch is on there for a bruiser. Um, Rick Boos, Braun Breaker, 
Now we're getting into the expensive though. Um, let's, yeah, let's start filling. Cause we are past the, um, I want to get at least 16, I think 16 superstars. That'll give me a lot of options. So I think I am going to go with Andre. Smackdown drafts Andre Chase. And we have a new campus for Chase U. The GM picks Andre Chase. He'll have all the opportunity in the world on this brand. Very generic, Byron. But yes, Chase University. Uh, maybe I'll be a little stable. Um, we want... I want another... Yeah, I should do somebody to pair with... Um, it does suggest, yeah, Braun or Solo. I feel like Solo is not a good promo. Three out of five. Braun is probably a really good promo, I bet. Also three out of five. Well, then why don't I go with Solo? Yeah. Um, so let's go. Uh, oh, Solo is annoyed, though. I haven't been checking that. Braun is optimistic. He's a little more expensive. Um... Solo is kind of the one who I would prefer, but I think I'll go with Braun Breaker. SmackDown selects Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker. Tiffany! Breakthrough on a new brand. I he waited too long. All, the tools. He just needs a breakout moment. all right, well then, let's pick up Gigi before it's too Smackdown late. SmackDown selects Gigi Dolan. And Gigi will be doling out the punishment on a new night. This woman looking to scratch and claw her way to the top. Okay. Um, Johnny Gargano, he can go to Raw, I don't care. Um, let's get another woman, I think. Um, let's see. Maybe, yeah, somebody else to start pairing with, um, uh, like Zaya or Shayna. Um, so, like, let's see. Dakota. Oh, this is the whole list, huh? Um, I could do like, yeah, um, Aaliyah. Two out of five promo, but that's fine. Dana Brooke. Also a two out of five promo. Um, Dana's interesting. Um, let's, yeah, let's do Dana. Smackdown chooses Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke taking her talents to a new night. She's just found the golden ticket now. Can she cash it? Loss of uh, Happy Corbin, but that's okay. Um, our budget is getting a little bit lower, so again, we're going to be careful here. Um, uh, heel Bruiser, Zoe Stark. Two out of five promo. That doesn't feel right. Um, Lacey Evans is a three out Lacey Evans being a three out of five promo is criminal. Um, Michin. I'm thinking either Zoe, yeah, Zoe is the one who it recommends. Um, Zoe is satisfied. Is Michin also satisfied? Um, so either Zoe or Michin. Let's do Michin. Smackdown picks Michin. Mia Yim. The HBIC has a new HOME. She okay. Thought she might be on the sidelines, but now she has an opportunity. Team Red has been assembled. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is uh, Raw has completed their draft. So this is their first eight, but they've got a bunch of others. So okay. SmackDown contemplates their next pick. I do want to pick up at least one more. I would like to at least get to sixteen, um, and our budget is still fine. Um, so what's our balance here? We only have seven men. Let's take a look. See uh, who we can add to the men's roster. Um, Let's see. Kit Wilson? No. There's Alvin Prince also on here. Alvin Prince is optimistic, but uh, Paulo, Dominic. Um. Do I go with Alvin Prince? How much cheaper was Kit Wilson? What's the difference? 
Oh, Kit Wilson is annoyed. That's the difference. Probably because I keep uh, looking at him and then looking the other way. Kit Wilson is the better promo, though. I think Cameron Grimes is a pretty good promo. Three out of five. Um, but I just don't. <laughs> I don't really like his look. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking like a specialist because that is... Um, who's my other specialist I picked for? Um, for the men. It was the Miz, yeah. So maybe a heel specialist. Um, that would just be Cameron Elton. There's Escobar, who is a four out of five promo. Um, he's also satisfied. Decent enough stamina. That would put me... I would put me around if I pick Santos, then he would be my last pick. Um, that would get me pretty balanced. Yeah, I think I will do Santos. Yeah. SmackDown picks Santos Escobar. A very smart selection for SmackDown. Santos Escobar. He fights everyone like his life depends on it. A great pick. Okay. Um, and I think that's going to be all. I think that is going to be my starting roster. So we got 16. I should have written them down, huh? Um, but we'll do that in a second here. So now that we have selected our draft, we will hit end draft here and confirm our roster. The GM has finished their draft. And Some here's who we have to start. Um, the order is just, yeah, the, again, the first eight that we drafted. Um, and so I'm pretty pleased with uh, with this draft, I think. So, okay. Um, now that we've done the draft, that took a little bit of time, uh, just again to think about. But now we can get into the weekly shows. So let's do that.